Hey guys, Maxwell Gaming here. I'm back, and uh, we're pretty close to the next Colossus. It's just in that direction. I figured out in the last episode that that jungle, that, or not jungle, the forest that I went into was useless, and there's this really, really tight ridge that was hard to notice. But I go around to um, get here. I remember this going on the ridge, but I thought that you would have to go into the forest and it would exit you out onto a ridge like this. Oh, here's a safe spot. And I'm assuming a lizard. Take its tail. Yes. <laughs> I'm so grateful for this, these opportunities of endless stamina. Half Moon Canyon. How about Misty Falls? Wait, can I just take a second there and look at the time again? That's four hours, 13 minutes and nine seconds. Oh, we'll we're saving again. As you can see, the second hand moved to 15. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'd be I'm beating this game in like four hours, and we're over halfway done with the game. There aren't many Colossi left, which saddens me. I kind of wish I could play this game forever. But there's expert mode. There's all these kinds of things I could continue playing it for. There's a time attack if I ever wanted to do that. But, I don't know, time attack. I don't know if, I'll, if I just should just record my highest record on with each Colossus. Or, um, I think you can watch your highest record, like, hopefully. You, you can climb on this, right? Yeah, this is, I don't know. I think, I think the point of this is if you fall in the water, you can climb up. I'm not going to do anything with that. Actually. I think I think it's the the point of that is okay. Yeah, the point of that was um, if you wanted to leave this place, you could just leave it. But um, you're supposed to just jump in the water. This is the second and sadly the last aquatic based boss in the game. There's only two colossi that move through the water. It's a little saddening. Where are the cutscenes that play when I get into the area? It, shouldn't it be like, do, 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 or whatever the, that OST is, and it's like like a sweeping camera of the entire place, and it's like, oh, you're close, where is he? But no, it's just like, I get there, and there's a cutscene of him coming out. Like, they didn't, they don't, they're not showing that previous cutscene. Let me, I want to swim to land. Before anything happens. Oh gosh, if you look closely, I think you can see him in the water right now. See it? I I see it. it it's may, maybe hard for you to notice because you don't know what you're trying to look at if you haven't seen him before. But I, I I see him like see that blue dot right there in the water? That's him. That's his eye, or he or it's not even an eye. He, he's got this man looks really weird. I think he's like a like a he's a, he's definitely a crustacean, but he's like a slug or something. I don't. I have no clue. Oh, well, this is land. Ooh, this is him. He's like a giant. You know, he's mostly made out of rock. He doesn't even. He's only have. He only has one spot of actual fur on on his back. It's like grass. You can cling onto it. This thing's cool. His name is Pelagius. He's a giant crustaceous slug creature he's the least animalistic like in my opinion oh. other than the humanoid based colossi which if you consider humans to be animals which I do are very human or animalistic like but this one's like least inspired off of anything and more of just itself oh gosh it wields thunder 
and that's what I mean. Holy crap, it shoots at me. But I mean, time to get in. Time to. Time to dig deep. This Colossi is. Holy oh, crap. I'm gonna swim under the water. This Colossi is very slow moving. Even though somehow it. Despite that, it makes the sharpest turns in history, making it hard to go around. But I'm able to do it right here. Yep, just climb up onto its back like such. Okay, there we go. I don't know how I got all my stamina back in an instant. All the crap he's shaking now. So this one's pretty neat. Like, there's a mechanic with this Colossi. That, um... That's pretty cool that allows me to, um... Do something I've never done before with the Colossi. Eh? You'll see in a second. It, as you can see, I'm on his back and there's there's nothing, there's nothing to stab. Like I'm on him right now on his head. This is just this is just grass on his head. There's no nothing. But if I watch this, watch this. Well I can control him. He doesn't like that when you hit the teeth on his head. Well, he's already really close to it. You're supposed to guide him to this spot and then jump on it. Because you couldn't get on it before. And then hide behind here. Okay, this Colossus might be a little bit more of a... Of me just go ahead and do it. I think his eyes are... Antennas, right. like a, like a slug. That's why I call him a slug. Okay, he does not know where I am or something. Because when you look at his face, you don't see the eyes. Like usual boss. I guess he just didn't know where I was for a second. I had to I had to show him. But he's like, I want to get to you. I'm gonna hop on here and be like, boy, where are you? And then this is where you just go onto his stomach. The only weak spot on him is stab him. This Colossi might be another cut and dry one where I just go into it. I thought it was gonna be harder. Oh, holy crap, he's going down. the cut? I don't know what's up with this version of the game because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a cutscene of him destroying that pedestal that I got into. Okay, let me climb up. Shaky bakey. Makes it a little harder. You need to get all the way up to your head. Oh. I guess he didn't destroy it. For some odd reason. Oh gosh, he shakes a lot. He only gives me a small window of any opportunity. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Long. 
Oh, yeah. If you look on top of his head right there, those look like eyes as well. But those also look like the sockets to the teeth on his head. Yeah, just... Uh, these, they look like teeth. That's what I'm comparing them to. And then... Ooh, I'm on here again. The same pedestal. Thought that for surely he would have destroyed it. Oh, he's easily jumping back on the same one. I thought you may have learned your lesson, but clearly not. I like how you're just letting me do this. Well, not really. He, he was the only one to take one hit. This is my chance to swim. Oh! Here's the cutscene. Look at that, he just destroys it. I think I'm at his stomach right now. The secret to getting around him when he's turning like this is I think use his body to turn with. Yeah, this Colossi. Well, I don't know. This would be much more interesting if I've never played the game before, honestly. Because it's just like watching me do it. I'm like, yeah. All the other factors are gone, other than just me doing it. Okay, big boy. You big crustacean mother fricker. Mr. Krabs, dude. It's the crab man. Oh, where? There's the next pedestal. I actually have to guide him this time. If I were him, I'd just try to lay flat into the wa water. Um, This colossi is actually, like, one of the biggest colossi in the game. Like, he's incredibly huge. It's just that half of his body is underwater. Like, if you can imagine that... He's like two times the size now, but he's just standing in deep water. That's, oh, he's closer to this one. It's pretty scary. This guy might be like a, like a mollusk in, in, the, in the sense that he has to constantly be, uh, have a lot of moisture to live or whatever. He, he, he does look to be inspired by a mollusk type deal. A, like a slug, slugs or mollusks, right? Or am I just being stupid? Um, bring me a little closer, but yeah, if he wasn't in the water, then holy crap, is he gonna destroy? If he wasn't in water, then he'd be like impossible to beat. Just like how um, if that Celosia guy wasn't. If he didn't have fire around, he would be impossible to beat. He's not close enough. He refuses to get a little any closer. Okay. One sec, I'm gonna check the time. I'm back. I was just thinking, I checked the time and I was just thinking. Because I have this game in full screen, and obviously I don't have my phone on me, so I like pause the recording and like look to see how, how how much time it's been. Ooh, I'm close enough. Oh yes, I got it. I'm gonna hide behind here. So it's just been like 14 or so minutes. I should really get like a like a real timer that can sit next to me and constantly show me like the time. Right, play into the episode. Could start it right when I start the episode. 
That'd be much more nifty. I think other user YouTubers use a method like that. But uh, I'm gonna keep this upset rolling. I think I can beat him. Come on, why aren't you going in the water? Well, you're dead. Your refusal of going under the water. See, look how huge he is. His refusal of going into the water has uh, has meant his doom. I, 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 I cannot uncling for some reason. Okay. You know, this guy was the least scary of the of the range attack users. Like of the lightning bolts, like Kuramori, that lizard guy was like that shot the gas electricity or whatever that was. That was terrifying. And um, then there was a uh, the uh, what you call him? Bassaran, the giant turtle with the. Those those laser bolts were terrifying too, but uh, this guy uh, it's a little tame. But uh, it took me a while to get to him, or it took me a while to beat him too. This has been Maxilla Gaming here. Thanks for watching this episode, and stay tuned for the next one.